Turkey has a long, long way to go when it comes to encouraging its women to enter the workplace. But ambitious women are hoping to show the way. This is a country where you can find anything. You can find a CEO of a top company to be a female. And then you can find women who cannot go outside of their houses without permission from their husbands. So how do you evaluate? <laughs> because we have so many cultural differences, socioeconomic differences. So it's hard to generalize issues for women in Turkey. There are a lot of female entrepreneurs. And even in Anatolia, there are a lot of women um, who are willing to work very hard, but they lack, uh, a lot of them lack the self-confidence, um, so they do need actually more leadership training. Um, so that's something missing. Uh, more and more we start to see um, high level uh, female uh, managers or leaders, which is very, uh, which make us very comfortable and we see, yes, one day maybe I can be like her. There is no hiding the fact that the status of women in society separates Turkey from the rest of Europe. The country stands 48th in the 60-country gender equality index, although the tendency towards inequality is greater in the eastern regions of the country, such as Anatolia, and less in Istanbul. I was questioning how could there be democracy if there is gender equality. So this whole idea of bringing democracy to the Middle East doesn't really work because to begin with there's not gender equality in this region. Despite a poor conversion rate of women moving into business, female attendance at universities is high. A lot of women go to university, so it's not a lack of education or an access to education for women. Access to education is the first step. If a girl doesn't have access to education, then she has no chance to get into the workplace. In Turkish society, some 60% of women themselves say that men should be favored in company interviews. Women are still expected to be a good wife, clean the house, take care of the children. Woman themselves uh, were supporting uh, the male dominancy at the family and at the business. Something like 70% of uh, the people surveyed uh, said the leader in the family uh, is the husband. Curiosity, courage, transparency and generosity are the main attributes of successful women in Turkey. I learned everything that I can. So if you know the, know the topics, know the tasks, know the projects very well, and you have educated and, and experienced on that topic, people trust you. So I think trust uh, is something that you, uh, very important for the leadership. It's, it's not uh, depending on your age. If you are very, you know, very powerful and very knowledge, and you have more knowledge for the topics, it's, it's something that you can make people leading. If a woman is uh, leading lots of men uh, and if, if she is the manager of men, then I see that she, the, the way she dresses and the way she does her hair even becomes more masculine. They cut their hair short, for example, because they, want, they need to be in the uh, war, you know? They, they are like in the fight war. Yeah. As I'm working with women, we understand each other and uh, that so-called empathy is huge among us. If we let ourselves to use it, of course, we can create ideas together. Some 80% of Turkish society thinks that children will suffer if their mothers go back to work before they enter primary school. In Turkey, there is not enough support systems around to raise a child as a working mother. Uh, I raised a kid too, and it was difficult. I had to sleep less, uh, travel more, to take the kid to the nursery and then go to work, work long hours and then go and take him. And, um, and you always feel like, am I a good enough mother? And on the other hand, there is, am I a good enough manager? So it's not easy. If there was more support, um, 
it would have been much, much better for the companies, I believe. And I think companies should invest on that. The most important thing that we are uh, providing, especially to our female employees, is our flexible working hours. Uh, you know, being a woman is not easy because you have lots of things to do in your house as well. You know, you have to deal with your kids. There are lots of things th that you have to do at home. Um, in order and in order to um, use your time in the best way possible, is to you know um, give a chance to to our employees to manage their time by themselves. I have several uh, women uh, directors who work for me who have children and who travel all the time but who are able to maintain their family life and have a very very successful career who over the years I actually help them um, grow their uh, profession. But this is why the women's movement in Turkey is a journey or as they say in their native language the Yolculuk. I credit my father with telling me from a very, very young age, you can do anything. If you want to be the President of the United States, if you want to be an astronaut, whatever you want to do, you can do it. You know, making especially young girls aware of what's open for them and what's possible for them is really important.